paint is very competitive uh, across the East Africa, particularly in Kenya also, because I think we, I started in 2005 where we only paint, 10 paint companies was there. Now there's a 70 paint companies. So a lot of paint companies are mushrooming now, uh, particularly low, low, uh, low end products and the, the condition, market condition is extraordinarily competitive now because everyone would like to follow us to number one brand and everyone says that they make the same quality. So, of course, we have a huge challenges to, uh, you know, meet our customer expectations, to be competitive and make sure that we, we lead the brands and be brand leader in the market. So, if you talk about Kenya, of course, we are undisputed market leader for the last 60 years and we are going to be a leader for the next 40 years that I know. Uh, because uh, the innovations, uh, the, the, the complete advantage we have, the people we have uh, and the brand um, respect uh, Kenyan has for the crown brands and I hope that I am sure that uh, I think uh, no one can beat our brand equity whosoever comes here. Uh, of East Africa, of course Uganda, Tanzania, Rwanda we also present in all the countries um, and we have few challenges in uh, those countries which we have started just last 10 years before, we have in uh, I think Uganda we have 10 years, uh, Tanzania we may be 4, 5, 6 years. So, of course, uh, we are starting from the bottom. So, yeah, we have challenge and those markets uh, unfortunately have not matured on uh, buying a premium brand products. Per uh, liter uh, per person consumptions uh, in those countries are much lesser and the people still try to buy a very cheap brand uh, like 70 75 percent is a is a local brand cheaper cheap economy brand people do buy so when uh, we sell uh, economy brands uh, very difficult to make money because margins are very very tight um, it's quite like a, working on six seven percent net margins so is very difficult to recover over it uh, from selling economy brands but of course, I mean, uh, what we've been trying to do is uh, trying to come with an innovative way, try to push our premium range. We're trying to educate customers, client. They all agree that uh, we have great premium. Our quality of uh, our brand is uh, number one in Africa. Everyone respect our brand uh, for quality. And I'm sure that uh, sometimes it takes a little bit longer time to educate about the quality uh, of the product. So, yeah, future we see is I think next maybe two, three years, I think we will be able to have a very strong presence in premium brand, uh, premium sectors in Uganda, Tanzania. Rwanda, we are doing fairly well. Uh, we, we have quite strong presence in uh, premium brand because uh, uh, Rwanda economy is little bit different. Uh, Rwanda, uh, Rwanda loves quality brand and all the new developments and all governments uh, initiative, which all infrastructure is being developed there they are all using a quality brand. So, I think that is what advantage, wherever, wherever the quality is there, crown is there and crown will lead. So, that is one of the key um, advantage we have to be a, a crown brand in this guy in East Africa.